Sadness on the NSU campus tonight after a fetus is found inside a residence hall bathroom. Two News anchor Sharon Phillips spent the day in Tahlequah talking with the school and with students and discovered what happens now. As students continue to move in here to NSU before classes start on Monday, the mood here on campus is very somber after many learned that a fetus was found inside a bathroom. The waterfall greeting students on campus is peaceful and serene. But campus police say the student move in was anything but following a shocking discovery. In this Facebook post by University President Rodney Hanley, it says campus officials contacted first responders and also the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation. Shortly after the fetus was found, a search for the mother began with police saying she came forward later asking for medical help. As the tragic news made its way across campus, I went to speak with university police as students reacted with concern and sadness. Don't really understand how someone could really do that. Um, I think there's a lot of better ways that that could have been handled for sure. Madeline Messenger and her friend Braden Sheffy are still trying to process how this could happen. If it was a miscarriage, I mean, that's so heartbreaking. That, that sucks really bad. If you knew about it, I mean, you need to tell people, obviously. You don't need to try to like hide it and you obviously don't need to do it in a place like this because it's going to get out and it's going to be talked about. I mean, this whole next week we start school and it's going to be scary. I mean, despite not knowing all the details, both women say they feel compassion for the mother involved. I don't really know much about the situation in order to like really go like in depth about it, but I just think that like as a woman, I just think that if that ever happened to me, I just don't know if I could like free myself from guilt if I ever did that. The university says it's fully cooperating with OSBI and at this time no charges have been filed. The university president is urging anyone with concerns about this tragic news to contact the university's counseling services or the university police department. In Tahlequah, I'm Sharon Phillips, 2 News Oklahoma.